journey about how the pandemic i mean what what kind of how do you spend it and do that like, it's horrible i know pandemic but what were your realizations yeah, and facts about music babu sahab bataye ke ye jo pandemic ka guzra abhi ded do saal isme aapne kya kiya aur kaise maintain kiya aapne family ke sath bada acha time guzara acha very nice <laughs> जितना भी कुछ होता है वो कट टू कट चल रहा होता है वो फलाना का काट ये इतना काट आर्टिस्ट के हाथ में कुछ भी नहीं आता पर आप लोगों ने एक बड़ा अच्छा रिवायत रिवायत उसके लिए भी हम वेट कर रहे हैं बट उसको उन्होंने अटकाया हुआ हम लोगों को बट वो बेसिकली वी जस्ट हमने पेंडेमिक के दौरान ही उसको शूट किया था हां बिल्कुल पप्पू साहब ने उसके सारे ईस्टर्न एनसेंबल का म्यूजिक शूट के सारे बड़ी अच्छी अरेंजमेंट्स थे एंड उसके बिल्कुल भी हैड शैलिन Do you know about this revived series that Nikal is uh, Nikal did in this pandemic? I saw. I think I saw a bunch of things, but I'm not. I'm not followed it as much. So he's much. taken. He's he's just uh, gotten uh, some amazing, uh, you know, folk artists, local artists, and uh, he just made them sing live when he recorded them live in the studio. It's totally one take, and it's, it's all musicians who have whose families have had an association with traditional work. Right. So the family of these sons are on it. A bunch of other folk okay. people, a bunch of classical people, uh, a lot of kawali, and we just one did time. it in one take, like all live. We shot it in the studio, and then I curated some of the songs and I sent them off to Anton David Yance and I sent some to Shaz Raja and my old Berkeley roommate Gwen Lafitte. He played acoustic guitar on it, so they picked okay. their own songs and they came up with their own arrangements. It's a really, really nice project, but it's very. Uh, It's very non-glam. It's like a real recording session. Yeah, Not it's good. Personal. Typical. Yeah, like like the way it used to be old school. You know, everybody would be in the room. In fact, yeah. these guys didn't even have monitoring. They were just hearing themselves. So oh, they just played it to each other. So that should drop sometime in my lifetime. I hope. <laughs> yeah, it will. Tell him how did you? What 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 all have you done? Like how did you spend this? It was very challenging. Yeah. Like Papu Sahab said, I also spent a lot of time with family, which is great. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. No, we got we, so with the pandemic, we started this music series. All of us mm-hmm. thought, well, we're obviously not going to be able to go out and play. Let's see right. who all we can get in and around Lahore. So we got musicians from you know uh, from areas in the outskirts of Lahore. We got those guys in. and everybody just we put the project together simply because we knew that for the next god knows how many months there's no gigs koi kaam nahi hoga so we might as well just capture whatever's happening right now usko ko capture karke document karte hain and we found some really amazing songs and really good stuff and all stuff that they've written either their families have written or they've written themselves so it was also you know go do away with the cover stuff because there's so much of that so many cover songs why would you want to record that That's another interesting thing is with the traditional compositions that uh, you know sometimes we do with the band and others different people have com- comment in the on social media that this belongs to my family another person says this belongs to my family another person says ye to hamare khandan yeah. so you don't know <laughs> where these have come from originally but uh, i've seen a lot of uh, these yeah i think ये तो हमारा कंपोजिशन है ये तो हमारे यू नो परदा ने मैटर नो इट डज इट मैटर नो इट डजंट बिकॉज़ इट्स स्टिल ऑन द ब्यूटी ऑफ द थिंग इज दिस म्यूजिक इज यूनिवर्सल इट बिलोंग्स टू एवरीबॉडी यू नो या सो ट्रू आई डोंट लाइक आई हेट दीस टर्मिनोलॉजीज एंड जॉनर स्पेसिफिक एंड कंट्री स्पेसिफिक एंड देन कल्चर स्पेसिफिक इज इट्स टू मच ऑफ दैट जस्ट मेक म्यूजिक शेयर इट लेट एवरीबॉडी प्ले इट एंड you getting better at it you know i mean that's all right yeah if i talking about the pandemic i mean i'm getting better at it 
yeah but the funny thing is like uh, during the pandemic i was teaching a lot more so i taught a lot of music and i studied mixing and mastering so actually i got better at mixing and mastering music of course it's software based but uh, i mean i think i've gotten good with it because i think i have a ear for it so the thing is i really enjoyed it also so music production and mixing mastering became my main thing rather than bass playing and uh, i enjoy that and when you do that you start understanding actually how instruments and what elements fall where and how important each thing is and sometimes how some things are not required maybe you know like it's an amazing thing it's and i think every musician should learn that you know they should yeah. learn to produce they need to they need to learn to mix because only when you understand frequencies and you understand how sound really works uh, will you make music also correct and I otherwise think, everybody you know has this attitude i want to be the loudest make mine louder or yeah, yeah. i need to be strong i is that kind of goes when you learn music yeah. correct mixing really taught me a lot about arranging parts as well yeah if if, if you listen yeah. to our records but it sounds like it's full yeah and exactly. what i noticed was and i'm sure you experienced this i would get like someone session to mix and it would just be like 100 tracks i'd be like what are you doing with the 100 tracks <laughs> you know and everything's yeah. in stereo and like it just sounds like a lot of information for no good reason yeah. so often times i've i've noticed that the best songs arrangement wise are also extremely well done and that's yeah. why they stand you know so mixing teaches I, you about I, arranging music No, the funny thing is that earlier days, uh, like if the band culture that they, like we were talking about, they always rehearsed the music in a room. So they kind of con- were constantly practicing together and would learn that okay, you know, I think this is sounding crowded or this is sounding too much or uh, I think this groove is not working because they were constantly hearing each other in a room. But today's music, what happens is gets made on a computer. So people yeah. just keep over layering and over layering and. till there's too much information and then you don't know what to do with the parts and it's just a mess i think you know it's too many too much yeah, ingredient you, exactly you never really know what space is this particular idea occupying you know it's just there it's like some sound and like what yeah iski jagah kya hai like why is it there i often times just mute stuff when i'm when i get a mix yeah I, I, and and what happens is because a lot of young musicians are working with samples you have to understand that samples are already uh, mastered you know mixed and mastered and they have been cleaned up to a major extent so what happens is they start putting the stuff and they feel the track is empty but when it comes to larger transient instruments like bass and drums they occupy such a large amount of frequency that even if you had three of the three live musicians playing together that's enough you know yeah, exactly. but because yeah you take all these samples that are clean and perfect you feel you need to put more things and they start putting these pads and more things and uh, so that's something that you i think when you play live you understand you know and you should yeah. record live instruments to to know how amazing actually music can sound with just a little bit you know which also reminds me dear i mean the coke studio recordings that we did were completely live so that's something that you yeah. know keeps you on your toes and you know that you need to be kind of very solid with your and and it's But, and what was amazing was mr yeah beautiful point because uh, i remember that we had rehearsed we were playing the songs uh, we had played these tunes and we had rehearsed yeah. it and then when we came to that studio and when we had to play it there were other elements that we had not rehearsed with and yeah, we can't yes. have rehearsed with them now when i heard all of that i mean i was like wow i had to actually cut back my playing a little bit so that there was better room for all those beautiful elements and that's you know that's a skill in itself because otherwise it can get noisy and get can get too much and that's amazing uh, yeah. you have to have a skill to know when to like maybe step back or let something else just take its place and it's i i enjoyed that process actually i mean yeah. and i i mean and we all know about kinari what happened <laughs> story was a yeah. legendary one let's let wow. do you want to tell the story <laughs> oh god <laughs> what happened well that story was, is um, um, we we were told that there's some issue and did yeah. we go back so, to the hotel and then have yeah we we actually yeah. recorded both that the happened. songs 
the previous day and we thought we were done and then we left yeah. and the next day we were yeah. talking out the next day the so next day we did have a bit of a harrowing time <laughs> because we were occupied with some very official work wow. that also needed to be done and then we get this message that the yeah. track is uh, at five in the evening but you yeah, know in the evening after being in the sun for yeah. like six seven hours i think something like that and yeah. uh, oh my god that was about, insane yeah the track sub is a problem and i remember mikal coming to me and saying that we have some map go back to the studio and i blasted him <laughs> i said no <laughs> way that's going to happen and he was yeah. like no no we'll keep everything Listen, ready Listen, i i was equally upset believe me i was i was equally uh, miffed but about i have it, to say i mean the guys the my- guys at book studio were definitely so professional that when we reached back to the studio to record they they had everything ready right i would say right from makeup yeah. to clothing to everything on this on the set it was bang and also that day something like i i really felt that uh, kinare was a better performance than the previous day and yeah and i remember day. writing that new section uh, you know that that yeah, little the ending break, section that, yeah the ending so and it turned that out so genius, nice what and you were, yeah i know yeah, man was that so, was just so beautiful play that you and gino played that and i was like yeah that's what it needs because it had um, to go somewhere yeah. it, it needed yeah, to live yeah 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 but it's amazing how things happen you know and sometimes when things happen uh doesn't go according to how we want them to sometimes yeah. something some better things come out of them so always you actually. never know yeah. you just have to be <laughs> you have to have faith <laughs> yeah but i think any happen. any other yes. any other bunch of people would really have had, had a hard time i mean thanks to professionalism we were able to actually go back and do it because we were all tired but the khagne we were all very tired yeah Lord. in fact i remember i requested but i think we knew it like we did like two days or something yeah it was like just two no, it was, one it was, take i think one take it was one, one take. take it was yeah. just one take just one take yeah i remember it was, so was it one take i mean the experience was also very it was one good, take but i mean the I previous day it. the previous day there were two takes each mm. and this this day because you we were so tired i said we have to nail this in one day <laughs> and it was one day and it was so we, we did it in one day wow yeah wow. we were like it gone done. it just happened what? and then everyone was like no but there was something amazing everyone was in sync and i don't know if it's the previous days or, uh, like performance or did it rehearsal? act like a rehearsal or something because the next day it was like yeah and i think we was perfect No, the energy oh, i think was just great yeah, you know, i'm so glad it all... did happen because sorry go ahead yeah. no no i make all you were saying sorry Shall you were saying oh no i was just saying that that uh, if we had not done that track we would have just had the one song and you know kinare caught everybody's attention it really stood out fessel in fact fessel sent me many years later he sent me a clip of him watching his family and oh. he said it this is one, one of my favorite favorite songs that we we all produced oh. this is one of my favorite songs and i still listen to it that was really nice of him that's yeah, awesome i think the scale I, the rag or the scale as you they call it it's a beautiful uh, yaman is a beautiful rag and it's, it's there's something very magical about uh, that you call it medium bone so there's something very magical about that and the and the uh, the interesting part of rag is that it creates a very beautiful mahal i mean you know i i remember when we were going out of the floor everyone was singing kinare 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 that the composition has something which is though uh, sometimes it feels uh, there's a lot of complication in the singing the style and all but there's something very easy also to it so people yeah, remember that the main idea the main idea is very singable it's it's simple yeah. so i think and also the arrangement was it. in such sync with the uh, you know the traditional composition that it did not take away from it also very differently yeah yeah, yeah this is one and thing with the thing that you had added in the end yeah, yeah this Tell, is one thing ahead. the mikarasan band that i i always felt is that i could not uh, uh, kind of compartmentalize what was what like in the sense i i can't say that this is indian this is pakistani this is western this is whatever you know it sounded like a 
like music to me and that's what i love like i don't want to feel that differentiation or feel like okay now we're doing an indian thing now it's rag based now it is no it just felt like we were playing a song and that is i think the greatest thing for a composer you know and a, an arranger and music should be produced like that where you cannot differentiate what is what you know so i'm sure like i mean yeah, rag it sound like a whole you know, yes because yeah, th- yeah. this music like uh, we i sharmista i'm sure you must have heard so many people do the rag and do this music and do the song but when you listen to the to this version it sounds like a tune like a, like it's almost yeah. like this was the song like you know? it meant to be that way yeah exactly so that i i love when it's produced in such a way where all the elements are have been thought of the arrangement has been thought of carefully you know and harmony it's such an important thing which western music brings to uh, to, the, to the east you know which is important how to harmonically work around the rag which is is tricky and it's hard but you have to study it and you should apply it correctly 